A goal in either half for City's elite development squad helped secure the fourth and final playoff place on the final day of the Barclays Under-21 Premier League. Without his regular centre defensive partnership of Jason Denea and Shea Facey, Patrick Vieira moved Greg Lee alongside Ellis Plummer with Angelino filling in at left back. Adam Jory and Marcos Lopez returned to the right with Sinan Batiki also coming into the attack. The Blues made all of the early running and were slowly exploiting the Villa's left-hand side through the combination of Lopez and Drury, the latter this time crossing well, which was just out of reach of the onrushing Hula. City would take the lead just minutes later, though, Villa failing to spot the warning signs of City's dangerous right-hand side. And when Lopez picked up the ball, he delightfully clipped it over Hill albeit with a little help from the Villa defender for his 13th of the season. City nearly extended their advantage five minutes later, but Plummer's glancing header was off target. At the other end, Lawler was called into action to parry Gerald Sellers' well-struck free kick, and just before the break, Batiki saw his set-piece flash past the post. Spanish left-back Angelino has only scored once this season for the under-21s and only minutes into the second half he had a great opportunity to double his and City's tally. Seco Fafana played the through ball but Hill saved well again. It should have been all over on the hour mark but Hula somehow missed from six yards out with his header. A win was the only result the Blues could take from this game and nerves were aplenty going into the final quarter hour. Olivier and Cham called in to clear at the vital moment after Villa breached the city defence from a corner. The Blues, however, did guarantee the win in the dying moments after his goal-scoring exploits the day before for the under-18s. Striker Thierry Ambrose netted his first for the EDS after the substitute slid the ball home from Devante Cole's cross. The win now means a semi-final playoff against Chelsea at the Etihad Stadium on Thursday night, where the Blues will be seeking revenge for their 2-1 loss at Stamford Bridge earlier in the season. Full time, City 2, Aston Villa 0. It was a new experience again. Once again, they've had um, a lot of good experiences this season with uh, Champions League experiences, cup finals that um, recently we didn't, uh, we, we weren't successful in. But again, this season's through a lot of challenges at the boys, and today wasn't our greatest performance, but we got the result and through to the playoffs. You went into the game knowing that to get through to the playoffs, it was always going to be in your hands. Marcos got that goal after 12 minutes. How important was that to get that first goal? It's good to score early for the team, you know, and everyone feel good after the goal. And for yourself as well, your first goal for the under-21? Yeah, it's my first goal for the EDS and I am feel so happy, you know. Tops off a good goal-scoring weekend for you though, doesn't it, that? Yeah, yesterday and I scored against Chelsea and today I score again. <laughs> <laughs> is this going to give you the momentum that you need now to go into the playoffs? Yeah, well, we have Chelsea, and uh, it's going to be a tough game again, and uh, they've got a reputation. But uh, the way we play, when we're when we're relaxed and playing like we can, uh, you know, I, I don't we, we don't fear anyone. We think we can uh, we can uh, pro progress through to the final and, uh, and win everything.